So in today's new episode of Comrade Zio, we get the first appearance of Comrade Zio's Forge Armor. So let's get started. So out of the most new episodes that have been coming out for Zio, I think this is one this is one of my favorite ones just because that Forge is in it and how they use him. So during the beginning, Gaze and Tsukoyomi are shown to be at home and not at school with Zio watching him, which I'm happy about with, Z- with Zio giving some time to himself. And it looks like they've been looking into some kidnappings or di- di- or disappearances from different girls that have been going missing for at least about 7 years or so. So, they're all around the age of 18 and they're all Libra. So, this might come to the conclusion that there's a link between them. So, after hearing this, Sogo also comes to the conclusion, conclusion that there's also a connection with the victims of the Monster Riders as well. Like how builds the all the connections to all the victims for athletes and with Monster X say being gamers. Which I like that Sogo actually figured out. So, we actually get to go back to the Amanogawa High School where the Forze class or team stayed in for majority of the, the season. Which I like to get to see again. And they actually go undercover to find a girl who's in the same category as what I said. And when they actually look into it, Zogo actually bumps into her and she's acting sickly. But she pushes Zio away and she starts running away. And when Zogo actually goes outside and tries to stop her or find her, he finds Woes outside. And Woes himself is... Well, he's there to give some information to Sogo again, like in the past few episodes. And he actually gives a monologue that says that he isn't really clear of the events that's gonna transpond in today's, like, episode. And that the only thing he finds for certain is that there's a link between a, sh- a shooting star or a link to it. So, we get to see the team meet up again in the school room or the hallway. And when they're about to, like, start talking, they hear the girl again. And it's the same girl that Sogo bumped in a while ago. And she starts falling from a roof, and she gets saved by Monster Forze, which from this scene. And when they actually start the fight, Monster Forze uses like the rocket Asher switch and summons like the rocket punch, and he just throws the rocket at them, which is so cool. And like the explosion, it doesn't affect them because of their transformation. So during the fight, Sogo and Gaze are actually doing a lot more damage to the Monster Rider than before, and this actually gets stopped with. The Monster Forze doing a retaliation and using the chain Astro Switch, which does a lot of damage, which causes Zio's Rider Watch or Bill's Rider Watch to knock off or just drop off his like wrist. And Gaze actually picks it up and uses it as for himself. So he actually transforms into Sogo's build armor. So he ends a fight with Bill's first Rider Kick or his base Rider Kick, where he just just goes down and just goes up again and has a trank tread. It's still there, but it still has like the feet effects for like the rabbit and like the tank tread is still there, which is really cool. And before, after the fight ends, like Monster Force gets away, and I like how he gets away in that he actually uses like the launcher astro switch and shoots all the rockets downwards, which causes an explosion that makes him the Monster Force to disappear. Which I liked how they actually got him to escape. So before they can actually chase the girl who's running away from them, they get stopped by two members who are presumably part of this new comrade club which is said by both of them. And it's still run by Gensro, which I like that he's still, he's still keeping the club alive, even if that he's already graduated. So they actually go to, like, to their new clubhouse which before the rabbit hatch was destroyed during Forze. And I like how they get the Forze Rider Watch as well. They get it from the old advisor for the comrade club which is he still does like the strap thing and when he actually sees like Gaze's Rider Watch he becomes excited or ecstatic about it which runs him up giving Sogo his the Forza Rider Watch which I like that Gensu is actually keeping it hidden or say keeping and I like that there is some nods to the Forza team before with like the bulletin board and I like that there's still like some of the props from Forza before which I still like that there's a lot of references to Forze. So after this, they both Gaze and CEO go back in time through their time machines. And eat. this scene itself is really, really cool that they are going back in time together. So we arrive at 2011 with Forze fighting off the Scorpio Zodiac. And a boy actually watches them. And before anything else, like 
So before the fight could continue, before of course he could get attacked, time stops to reveal Schwartz. That's the new like time jacker for this episode. So when he actually does the things, he doesn't try to entrance them into going to this contract. He forces the contract onto them, which the boy doesn't disagree, but he just accepts it full heartedly, and he accepts it and turns into Monster Forze. After transforming. Both the Scorpio Zodiac and Forza's powers and memories disappear. So this is really weird and I still have a question for this is that are his friends also lost the memory that Forza was a commoner just because that a lot of his friends also knew he was a common rider? So we get to see Monster Forza with the first victim of like the kidnappings or the disappearances of the girls and he essentially just absorbs them into like the switch and into his body which is giving him power. So before he could do anything else, he is stopped by Sogo and Gaze. And I like how during the fight scene with Zeo Gaze versus this Monster Rider, and that the Monster Rider is a lot more powerful and that he can keep up with both of them. So he throws like a rocket punch at them, which makes Sogo just fly off the screen during the explosion, which causes Gaze to use the dry right armor. And even the right armor itself can't even keep up with this Monster Forze, with Monster Forze using the chainsaw Oster switch and beats him into like a pile of trash or garbage of junk. So Forze or Go Sogo I should say, tries to transform into the like, Forze armor, but gets stopped by the Monster Rider who's attacking him. And before he could de- deal a punch to Zio, Wu's actually stops the fight with him catching the fist, which is really cool that he's really that strong. And he actually pushes the punch or Monster Forze away, which leads to him just telling Zeo to transform. And when he actually transforms, I think this is my favorite out of the Rider Armor transformations just because of how it's set up. So when he actually transforms, when the Rider Armor comes out, it does like the Uchukita of Forze. But after that scene is really cool in that it turns into a rocket ship and just circles Zeo. And when it goes into like the center of it, he it clads Zeo in his armor. And I like it still has the three two one of Forze, but it, the Forze when it's said in the, the voice of the ride armor, it's so cool. And I think it's the best jingle out of most ride watches. And during the fight itself, like it's a big upgrade compared to the base Forze in that there's a lot more rockets. Like he bears dual rockets on his fist and like a rocket powered jetpack on his back. So I like as well how he can throw like the rocket punches as well. And Monster Forze just shoots rockets at him, which he deflects with his own rockets. So how he ends the fight is really cool in that it's called Limit Time Break, which is a reference to Forze's like finisher move of Limit Break, and that he turns into a little rocket and just flies off with the Monster Forze into the atmosphere and just does like a literal drill kick to him, which sends him flying back down. But after like that sequence, we get to see that there's another rider inside the Monster Rider, and it's and it's Monster 5, which looks really horrifying. And I like how it actually moves from the Forze armor rather than just appearing on him again. And this also shows us the character of Fives again, or Fives' rider in this episode, which I like we get to see him again in the season. And this, was, this wasn't really a surprise because if Fives appears, this guy could always appear just because that he's been in the Heisei like, era ever since Gaim, I do believe. So I think that's all I'm going to talk about in this video. So thank you.